very exciting that we're running a spiritual gifts course this autumn. It's going to work in this way. We'll do a couple of sessions at the end of September on consecutive evenings and a couple of sessions at the beginning of November. Again, consecutive evenings. In between time, we're going to ask you to assess what gifts you think God has given you. There'll be a questionnaire to fill in. Now, if you've never done this before, I think you'll find this is a really wonderful way to understand who God has made by creating you, to understand what you've got to offer to him, to his church, to his world. And I really hope you'll come and join, join me and Levi Fastratum as we lead you through this very exciting and what can be for many people a life-changing experience. Hi, I'd like to tell you about the marriage course which is starting on the 6th of October which we're running with others in the church. It's a lovely opportunity to sit down with your other half and have a private conversation, just the two of you, with, in a lovely setting with a meal provided and perhaps talking about issues that you wouldn't get around to normally. So we hope you can join us. Um, as I say, it starts on the 6th of October. It'll run all the way through to, to November. It's open to anybody who is married, um, whether you've been married for six weeks, six years, or even 60 years, and we hope to see you there. There are some things in life that you just can't do on your own. Like playing table tennis. Or having a lunch date. We're doing a trust fall exercise. Okay, here I go. Some things just don't work without the help of others and our Christian life, our discipleship is just the same. We can't do this life, we can't live this life, we can't run the race for Jesus on our own and that's why small groups are so important. At St Paul's we have eight groups that meet throughout the week, some in the evening, uh, some in the day, uh, one at the weekend. And we would love you to consider getting involved with one of these small groups for discipleship, for fellowship and friendship, for prayer support and for good laughs. If for whatever reason none of those groups work, then maybe think about starting one in your own home. If you want to know more, then please come and talk to me. we're passionate about community and what better thing to look forward to in September here in Belgium than a Belgian beer and cheese evening. On Friday September 29th you're invited to a tour through Belgium's famous and not so famous Abbey beers and cheeses. It's a great way to welcome new people and to invite friends along. And don't worry if you don't like beer there's wine and soft drinks available too. So Friday, September 29th, 7.45 till 10pm in the church centre. See you there. Messy Church is back this term and this time it's going to be every month. We're going to begin on Saturday the 23rd of September with a harvest theme. A great time for families to come and celebrate together what we're, they're thankful for and enjoy exploring faith in lots of different ways. Yep, it will be messy. We are going to have it on um, Tuesday 31st of October, which is Halloween of course, but we're going to celebrate the light instead and have a great time doing that. And then there'll be one in November and a final one, the gingerbread event in December as well. So. Grab a flyer, find out more about it and invite your friends, it's going to be great.